Well, he's a two-time champion of the Hunt Wingless Series, and now he's going to be driving for car owner Clayton Snow in Wing 360 Sprint Car Action. It's definitely going to be a treat to watch, and he's here to talk all about it. It's Jake Morgan, our next guest here on Getting Up to Speed. This broadcast is brought to you by Meat Freaks Jerky Club. Get the best jerky the world has to offer straight to your door by visiting meatfreaksjerkyclub.com. Pick your box and plan, tell them where to ship, and receive and enjoy. Log on to meatfreaksjerky.com and use promo code SPEED. Are you looking for bookkeeping, payroll, or income tax services? Then check out the folks at For You Simple Bookkeeping. They are a licensed tax preparer throughout the entire United States. For more information, click on the link in the description. Well, with me now, my guest at this time, Jake Morgan, formerly from Fair Oaks, now calling Elk Grove home these days. And Jake, it's great to have you on here. Oh, it's great to be on here. I've been listening to him, and it's been pretty cool. You getting kind of getting more of the Cali guys on the scene and uh, talking with them. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. It's so far. It's I mean, this is this was once upon a time was an experiment of will it work or will it won't work, and it seems to be working okay. Um, pe- lots of people seem to be tuning in, which is great. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's I mean, it's phenomenal. Finally, getting the California, the Oregon guys. I mean, everyone's talking with like the Indiana guys, the guys that do it for a living, and um, it's just cool to kind of get to hear from what different like the Cali guys, the Oregon guys are doing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about you. Um, last year, won your second career Joe Hunt Wingless Series title with uh, with that series. First one was back in 2019. Last year, had a pretty good year in 13 starts, 12 top 10s, 10 top 5, 6 podiums, and three feature victories on a scene that you've really, really been successful at the last few seasons. Yeah, it's, I mean, uh, I kind of – gave my put a name to uh myself with the non-wing stuff and uh it, it's it's pretty fun it's kind of a little bit less stressful it kind of puts the driver back in the seat i just these wing cars they've gotten so dominant on motors and um just racing hard that the non-wing stuff kind of more put it back on the driver than the motor and all that fun stuff so it was awesome um yeah to come back and do it again I, year or two later and uh you know uh just like i said i kind of put a put myself in a good spot with the non-wing stuff so it's been fun did some wing stuff though had a couple starts in the 360 uh notably ran at silver dollar speedway in chico and merced speedway but also three starts in 410 action a couple times with narc and one feature start with the world of outlaws at silver dollar during gold cup weekend yeah, um, the funny thing about this last year was we were just supposed to mainly focus on the non-wing stuff, and uh, a good friend of mine that was a crew chief for me for a while, uh, Bill McLaren, he ended up passing away, and his uh, family had approached me about uh, doing the memorial lap at Chico for that two-day event that they had, and uh, so we kind of thrashed a car together last minute, and um we ended up putting a new chassis um under me and uh it was a triple x and uh right off the get-go we just kind of fell in love with the car so we ended up flipping in a f- few more wing races than i had planned um and then it, it kind of took off from there and then running with the world of outlaws i didn't have the best of the weekend going at gold cup but um it was fun and i mean we improved every night we were on the racetrack well, and it's it's presented an opportunity for 2023. Talk about that a little bit, that you're kind of a hired gun this season. Yeah, Clayton and I teamed up last year, and uh, we just went after the Hunt Series Championship, um, was kind of the main focus. And then um, at the end of the year, he came home from running the All-Stars and uh, gave me the opportunity to run at Merced. And uh, both nights, we were just stellar fast at the beginning of the night driver struggled in the main event a little bit um and then it opened the door for this year to kind of just drive full-time for clayton um on the 360 side of things it's we're running my motors with his cars and then the 410 stuff is kind of just going back and forth and um if there's a available race that he wants to hit and he wants to run his motors we will um but other than that it's just 
him and I seem to have kind of clicked pretty good off the, right off the get-go. So um, hopefully we can improve on it through the year and go from there. And you guys had collaborated a little bit earlier this year at the SCCT opener in Placerville, yeah? Yeah. It, uh, honestly, I'm kind of shocked about how good the night went. Um, once again, we started off stellar at the beginning of the night. Driver was a little rusty in the main event. Um, but, I mean, we went – we went second quick in our group, and I think we were top five overall in qualifying, which shocked me a little bit because I'm not really that great of a qualifier. Um, and then in the heat race, um, battling with Max Mitry, uh, ended up taking the heat race win there, and then uh, just ran seventh in the main in the dash. We were uh, doing some experimenting just to see what I would like or not like. And then in the main event, um, like I said, it just I struggled a little bit, a little rusty, and not having the wing on the car for a while. So, um, but it was fun. It was a fun night. Car rolled in the trailer in one piece, and that's all I can ask for. Well, what's really cool, I think, is it sounds like you're happy with this partnership with Clayton Snow. It doesn't seem like it's a uh, highly stressful thing because, you know, you hear the horror stories of guys that. Uh, that are losing sleep or losing hair because their their job is on the line when it comes to running for somebody and in their equipment. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, Clayton just makes it easy. You know, I've driven for guys that are just really tense when they get to the racetrack. And I mean, you know, don't want to throw my dad under the bus too much, but you know, dads are always usually the hardest guys to work with. But uh, with Clayton, he's just laid back. He doesn't get super tense stuff at the racetrack. If you make a mistake, he kind of just bluffs it off and, you know, let's keep the driver happy and rolling forward. What is your guys' plans for 2023 as far as running? Anything specific or going to try and hit uh, certain races that you have circled on the calendar? Um, the biggest thing is is we're not running. Uh, we're not going to do any points anywhere. Uh, we're going to hit and miss. Um, I'm trying to venture up to Oregon a few times. And we're working on some deals to uh, get me back to Knoxville this year for the national. Okay. Um, but nothing, nothing set in stone right now. It's just kind of more with, especially with the weather the way it is, is just try to hit and miss when we can. And if we don't, then we don't. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, it's it's crazy for the scene up here in Oregon with uh, you know the four fastest days in motorsports with NARC with 410 stuff, WST Speed Week at the end of July, and then they have, you know, that one particularly goes from Elma down into Oregon, then back up to Skagit, and then they have one that uh, starts in Oregon and then goes goes to your neck of the woods, uh, ends at Placerville. Yeah, no, it's I, we've been um, keeping an eye on that stuff, and yeah, it's it's pretty cool that they're starting to get Oregon involved with California and trying to, it seems like racetrack and the promoters are starting to work together a lot better on getting it to where you can race a few nights a week, like, you know, Pennsylvania does and uh, Indiana does. Yeah. Yeah. I remember your dad coming up here a little bit. I don't think it was, uh, it might've been for a speed week, but for sure, I think it was during maybe like Memorial day weekend or something with the Northern sprint tour. This is, this is going back a ways though. When I say that, yeah, for sure. No, he, he definitely ventured. He made his ventures up there a little bit. Um, when I was younger, I raced uh, Medford, Oregon and the Outlaw Carts. And okay. uh, I took the OI uh, championship that year. Um, but we've always always wanted to get up there and race with you guys on the, during the speed week and stuff. And just stuff would always fall through. But it seems like this year is going to be a little bit more promising. Good. Um, and then with that new racetrack that uh, Brian Crockett and – a couple other people have been involved with switching it over to dirt. Um, we're, we're trying to get up there for that first one. Yeah. So Douglas County dirt track. Yeah. Nice. So of... I'm, I'm excited to see that one for sure. My, uh, I made my mom and dad, they were up there visiting, uh, my aunt and uncle up there uh -huh. and I made them stop by there and take pictures and check it out for me. Yeah. It looks, it looks pretty sweet. I haven't seen cars with my own eyes go around it, but hopefully soon. Yeah. And as far as the tracks that you're, I know that you said not, not running anything in particular tracks, you're really looking forward to, to get in, at in a wing sprint car that you feel like you've got, you've got some good rapport and, and can really get it done. Uh, I mean, honestly, 
this one isn't really one that I have because I've never raced there. Uh, I would really like to get to Hanford. Um, okay. Each again, that's another one where just each year we've tried to go there and something's come up, either work related or uh, family related, that just stopped me from going. Um, I would like to get to Tulare some more. I really enjoy that place. Um, and then other than that, I'm just believe it or not, I'm in search for the my first wing win in a in a 360 or a 410 whichever comes first yeah um but uh it'd be pretty cool to get it done at plasterville finally yeah no that would be really cool there's a lot of uh there's a lot of history with your family at that place and a lot of years spent at little knoxville on the hill yeah yeah for sure uh just i've been going there since i was two weeks old so um, it, it would be cool to uh, get me and my dad's name on that elite list of uh, father son duos to uh, win at Placerville. So yeah. Uh, other than that, just like I said, we're gonna hit and miss. Um, Clayton, uh, he's got his eye on some races that he would like to go to. You, so um, just kind of go from there. And what would you say has been sort of? I wouldn't say obstacle, but like the biggest adjustment predominantly running non-wing for, for a bit last couple of seasons and getting back into a wing car for you personally, what has just been, is it the speed or is it, uh, is it the, the wheel input, uh, for you making the jump from non-wing to back to wing? Um, I don't, it's not really too many struggles. I think just the biggest struggle is, is, um, the pace has picked up like as far as like main event time comes, these guys, a lot of these kids coming from like the outlaw cart ranks like I did and stuff, they're just, they're on kill from lap one and it's go, go, go. Yeah. There's no, you don't have a, you don't really have a chance to think about it. Um, that's kind of been my biggest struggle. And uh, I mean, me personally coming, like I've tried midgets for a little bit. I get one every now and then and it, it's the same thing. It takes a second to get that, that pace going. Um other than that, I mean, really, it's just kind of like riding a bike as far as the way the car reacts and drives and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, just the biggest thing is the pace in the main event. That's, yeah. that's been a huge change from when I started running wing cars to now. Sure, sure. And then for yourself, when you're not working on race cars, what uh, what's Jake Morgan up to? What What's there to do uh, in Grove? What's, what's, uh, how do you spend your pastime? Well, my day, my days are usually, uh, I'm a pipe fitter by day, uh, with fire sprinklers. Um, so we do fire protection in buildings, homes, mm -hmm. pretty much anything that we get a phone call on. And then, uh, my afternoons after work or, uh, graphics, if I don't got any race car stuff going on. Oh, nice. Nice. For, do you, so you do that out uh, for other people or just your personal stuff that you work on? I do other people. Um, I have pretty much kind of a similar setup to like what Roger Crockett uses. Um, okay. And yeah, we're, I'm my, most of my business is race cars, but we do do some sign work for uh, bigger corporations and stuff like that. And um, pretty much what and when anyone calls and asks, we get it handled. So awesome. Um, and what's the best way for people? You have like a Facebook page or a website. Uh, actually, most of my stuff's always just been word of mouth or oh, someone okay. came and talked to me and I just give them my phone number out and they'll, uh, they get a hold of me with what they're looking for. Um, kind of, kind of the joke around here a little bit is uh, I want to change the name to last minute graphics because I'll <laughs> usually get a lot of the big teams. Like when some of the world outlaw teams come through town, they'll hit me up real quick for a last minute sticker that they need on the car for sure. a California swing or something like that. So. Nice. Nice. Well, hey, it's that's that's great if you're getting those kind of phone calls. Yeah. No, it's it's like I said, it's a blast. Um, and then other than that, I mean, it's hanging out, raising my son, hanging out with my wife, and just trying to have a good time. We're in the middle of uh, getting my house finished up. It's been like a three year long project, but uh, it's been fun, kind of doing carpentry and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Nice. Nice. That's really cool. That's really awesome. Well, as we kind of wrap things up here, uh, people that you, well, I guess I should backtrack that for any sort of news as far as what races you're going to, when they're going to be, 
or any apparel runs or results or stories? What's what's the best way for people to find the latest and greatest about you? Well, we do have our Jake Morgan Racing Facebook. Um, and right now I am in the works of getting all my stuff together to team up with uh, a social media company to have them kind of take it over for me. Okay. Um, that's kind of always been a little bit of my struggle with the whole racing thing and trying to stay up with the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just Facebook, Instagram, just look up Jake Morgan racing and you should be able to stay pretty close with what we're doing and what we got going on. Awesome. And then apparel for sale on there, or is there an upcoming order? Uh, there, we do have, uh, with Clayton, we do have some shirts and sweatshirts, um, that we're going to, we're working on getting stuff put together to get put on Facebook. Okay. Um, and then it's, as far as for my personal self, uh, I actually have some t-shirts in the works right now. I'm just waiting on designs to show up so I can improve them. Okay. Awesome. And then, uh, sponsors, people you want to thank that's gotten you to this point. Uh, well, always got to thank mom and dad. And then, uh, I got to thank Clayton for giving me the opportunity these last two years to go do what I love to do. Um, real livestock, uh, microelectronics, um, I mean, there's just everyone that's been behind me, grandma, grandpa, my sister, my wife, uh, and then now my son supporting me, um, Pacific Valley Fire, Gary Morgan Graphics. Um, I got to thank all of them, and then I got to thank all my loyal fans that have stuck with me for this long. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on everything so far. Looking forward to see how everything goes, and with all the time I'm going to be spending down there, hopefully bump into you a couple of times. For sure, it's always good to get shoot the do a little bit of BSing with you and yeah. see what's going on. It's always great when um, it's awesome what you do for Oregon up there when you're shoot when you shoot me the post for the uh, speed weeks and stuff. I appreciate that, and mm-hmm. I appreciate what you're doing with the podcast. Awesome. Well, it's great, been great to have you on here, Jake, and we'll be talking soon. Perfect. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for listening to this latest episode of Getting Up to Speed with me, Ben Dethridge. We hope you enjoyed this program. We hope also that you hit the subscribe button and the like button as that really helps things out, spreads things out. Be sure and share as well on social media so that more people can listen to these great interviews and from these great drivers. Getting Up to Speed is a production of High Side Racing Promotions. For more information, you can check it all out on Facebook at High Side Promotions.